how to create an interactive chart in Excel that based on a target value, a target goal, it can change the icon and show, let's say, a red flag whenever you got a value that is under your goal, your target, and you can have a green, okay, a green icon whenever the value is greater than or equal your target value, your goal. So let's find out how can we do it step by step from scratch. Let's go. The first thing that we need to have to create any type of chart in Excel is a data set. So this is what you need to have a data set. And you don't need to cope this data set that I am using here. You can use your own data set. I'm going to show you here through this step by step how it's going to work. How are we going to do it from scratch, basically? But the first thing that you need to have is a data set. And as the first column, I'm using here some categories. To be more precise, I'm using months, dates. So January, February, and so on. And as the second column, I'm using some values, currency, to be more precise, of course. And uh, you can also use currency, or you can also use, let's say, percentage, or you can use any other type of values, but it's important to be values, okay? So the first column is categories and the second one is values now we can select both of these columns and then i go to insert and we're going to create our chart let me click here in the column chart and uh, the first option okay our chart is is done basically but uh, of course we're going to need to add the emojis above the columns let let me first just click in the chart and then move it up a little bit like this for example i'm going to click in the title i'm going to read it off and this grind line is true, I'm going to click and right, read it off. Let me just increase a little the size, the area of this chart, like this, for example. Now, to make sure we can create these emojis above the columns, for example, first, we're going to need to know what is our goal, what is our target, for example. Because whenever any value that I have here is greater than or above my goal, for example, I want you to have, let's say, an OK or an emoji that match, that represents with the value that is above my goal. And when it's not above the goal, it's because it's under, it's below my target, below my goal. So it's not OK, for example. But instead of do it manually, we can use the if function to help us. So whenever a value is above my goal, it's going to receive, let's say, an emoji, a green flag, for example. And whenever it's below it's under my goal it's going to receive a red flag i can do it with the if function and of course i can also use in excel uh, some emojis some icons you can use google to see an icon that you like it or you can also use the windows period keyboard shortcut here to access a bunch of different icons let's say the way so let's start start here doing the if function so equal sign if function let me double click here, I want you to select. My logical test is gonna be if the value that I have here is greater than or equal to my target, but what is my target value? My target value is gonna be $30,000, for example. 30,000, one, two, three, okay, comma. If it's true, I'm gonna input here a green flag or a green okay, and if and uh, else, and if it's not, I want you to put here a red flag, for example. And you have access to all these icons, for example, as I said before, you can use Google to search these icons, or you can just press Windows period. Now with the Windows period, you're going to have access to a bunch of different emojis. And I'm going to use here the, first, the second one, the green, and then also this red flag here. Now we can close it. And as you guys can see here, within my if function, I have both of the icons that I just selected before. But before we just press enter here in this function, I need to just put all these emojis in between quotations marks. So the first one is going to be used if my logical test is true. So we're going to code, uncode this icon and then comma. And the second one, I'm going to do the same thing. So open quotations marks and then close quotations mark, close parentheses and then enter. And as you guys can see, it's already working. And uh, let's say, as you guys can see, it's in black and white. But don't worry, because when we take these icons and put into the chart, just above here the columns, it's going to be color red. Let's say that way. And now to take these icons here and put over the columns, we're going to need to select the entire column B, the values that we have in the column B, and then Control c to copy 
click in the chart and then Ctrl V to paste. Here we basically duplicated the, the columns. We have a blue one and an orange one. Now to, instead of using an orange column, make this column as to represent the icons that we're gonna have, we're gonna need to change. Instead of using columns as columns, we're gonna need to use it as line. So let me right click here in the chart and then I go to change chart type, for example. And uh, in this last option, I'm gonna click in combo and then I'm gonna choose these options that is already here. So for example, series one is gonna be a column chart and series two is gonna be line, for example. Now I can click OK, and instead of using lines, I'm not using the line exactly, but I'm gonna use the markers, the points of the line. And uh, when I have here these markers, I'm gonna just put above the icons that I have. And to do it, let me just click in the chart, and then I can go to Chart Design, here to the left, Add Chart Element, and then I'm gonna choose Data Labels, I'm gonna choose the option, for example, Outside End, like this, for example. This one right here that is to the right corresponds to the column, the column chart, the blue chart. So I'm gonna read it off it and I'm gonna stick with just one. But instead of using values again, because we already have these values here to the left, I'm gonna double click here in these values, one, two, to open here this right panel and I'm gonna choose the option value from cells. I'm gonna click here and as you guys can see, a new windows just pop out for me and now I can select the column C. Okay, and look, now we are almost done. But now maybe it's, in, maybe it's interesting to just read it off this value here, or I'm gonna do something different. Let me just click in these values to the left, read it off. I'm gonna use the values that we have here just above the column. So click here. Instead of using commas to separate, to split the values, I'm gonna choose, let's say, I'm gonna click in this last option, label options, and uh, want to use new line, for example, like this. Now we can close it. And the line, I'm going to click in the line, format, shape outline, no outline, for example. Now we basically read it off the line and we got the chart with the emojis. I can just make the chart a little bit small like this, for example. And as you guys can see, the chart is done. And whenever I change any value, for example, this one right here, April, that is equal to 26,000, I'm going to change to 35,000, for example. Enter. And as you guys can see, it's automatically updated for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions and suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow as everybody has a new video. I see you there.